Hello, happy Monday. Sorry, my camera started falling as soon as the live video started. So we're gonna try to balance it out here. See if it'll stay. Gravity wants to do something else. <laughs> Anyhow, um, happy Monday morning. I am Rochelle, I'll just hold it, with Confident Dreaming. And I am here to bring you your magical Monday message. Um, this week is metamorphosis and Yes, we were talking about change last week and opening up to the idea of change. But this week, metamorphosis is like the next level of change. It is transforming your life. It is transforming yourself. It is a change of the form or nature of a thing or person into a completely different one by natural or supernatural means. Um, no, I'm not saying you're going to change into like a butterfly. But if we think about a phoenix... And in Harry Potter, we actually see a phoenix. It is definitely a mythical creature, um, but it's one that is dates back to the Egyptians. You can find it in Egyptian mythology, Greek mythology. It is found in Japanese culture, Chinese culture. The early Christians adopted it. It's about death and rebirth. And I've gotten the message several times today. Uh, I've got it in email form. I got it in like an Instagram live or... To Instagram TV thing about dying to a former self like in order to move forward into the life that you want and into yeah in towards your dreams right to move that direction to become that person you want to be sometimes we have to die to our former self like what stories are we holding on to and what is it serving us like if it's the way that it's always been is that the way it always has to be? How is it serving you if it's still the way you've always been or the way it's always been? What purpose does that story serve? And if you truly want change, well, then you might have to let that go. And to let that go, um, it takes work. And it depends what you're letting go, if it's forgiving of yourself or if it's forgiving of others or the steps to take to let it go might need to change. Like that's individual but we do need to let it go and when we let a part of us go and we die to that part there might be grief involved and you might have to go through a small mourning period in order for that rebirth to happen to be that great phoenix rising from the ashes um i did begin the talk last week on change and that change starts within and we all have that power we all have that power to transform our lives to really produce that magic we seek um coincidentally though you know I don't believe in coincidences that is even the theme of Burning Man which started yesterday which is like up the road two hours from me so it's it's big here in the area and their theme this year is metamorphosis also but based on the Ovid poem so slightly different spelling and it's a poem that talks about like the history of the world kind of from like creation to whatever time period he was in I think it I read that it was at the deification of Julius Caesar um, but there's just this thing in us that sometimes we just crave change. We know we're meant for more and we know like our, we're not living in our purpose because if we were living in our purpose, we would be having fun and it, we'd be living with ease and flow and we would be living with, um, joy and just laughter. And it's like, yes, life gets hard, but how we approach those problems in our life would be from a totally different place than one of where we're not living in ease and flow, when we're not living towards our purpose and our passion. Because when you're not, you feel stuck, you feel um, defeated. Uh, it brings up depression and anxiety because there's just something in you that's not right. And maybe you can't put your finger on it what that is. But you just know something isn't right. If you are there, if you are looking for change in your life, if you are looking for clarity, purpose, passion, that is what I do and love to do. And all the certification I've been getting this summer, the classes I've been taking have really enabled me to help you on a deeper level. And the best part is it can be done uh, virtually. I don't have to be in the same room as you. I don't have to, um, I don't even have to be in the same zip code and the work can be done. You can still receive it and you can still receive this healing on such a deeper level that will 
help you grow faster into who you're meant to be. And that is just like beyond exciting for me. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about that, I have a couple complimentary sessions left and I'm going to be doing some other practice sessions. So go ahead, shoot me a message and I would love to help you. Um, if you are interested in working with me one-to-one, -one, my packages online are going to be enhanced, but the prices aren't going up until September. So as I continue to integrate th my knowledge and this, um, I guess, new way of healing you into my practice, um, all the prices are staying the same. So you're getting way much more than even what the website says. So if you have questions, just shoot me a message. Um, I'm about halfway through with my beta test of my transformation program and then I will do the updates to my workbook and I'm gonna do um, like a self-study test. People who don't want group coaching who just want to be able to go through a workbook on their own will be able to do it for free also but it doesn't come with all the cool stuff. Um, it would just be a copy of the workbook and I send just like a check-in email and video. Excuse me. And let's see I think that's it. Be sure to follow me over at uh, facebook.com slash confident dreaming or Instagram slash confident dreaming. Also join my private Facebook community, Creating Your Magical Life, because that is what we're here to do. We are here to dream big and start creating a life that is magical for us. Excuse me. So be able or be sure to go there and follow me there and sign up for my email list. So confidentdreaming.com slash resources and you can get on my email list and know, be the first to know when all this stuff launches. Um, those on my email list get codes to sales and like first access to all the good stuff. So I will see you soon. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful last week of August and think about what kind of change or metamorphosis you want to go through. How would your life look if you just took the chance to try? Have a great day. Bye.